Oh, hello. I'm making this video for a couple of reasons. Number one, I get asked a few times how I do things, and not that I'm an expert or anything like that, but I've I've played a, a lot over the last 20 years, and especially during lockdown, I've fallen in love with the game again. Um, and during that time, I created this region here. Now, this region here, kind of loosely based on a an Italian feel, and I recently got a lot better at the NAM. I wanted to go back and fix a few things, so I've. This was the last city I built probably about three months ago now. And I've slowly, over the course of the spring, gone through and redid all of these little towns. And stopping at these two, because these ones are absolutely huge. And as a result of that, um, I think that they would be just too much work to do in the summer. I, as much as I love the game or in any game I play, I don't really want to be spending all summer, um, you know, ripping up train lines and stuff like that. So I thought it would be fun if I started a new region. And that's the second region, uh, reason even, is because. I have exactly the same region again. Which I've done some nicer terraforming on and I and I have a plan which I'm gonna start developing a little bit here today. Sort of commercial area here. Being surrounded more by farm and industry near the motorways, it's a little bit more realistic, but hopefully much the same feel as before. So that's what I'm going to start recording now. I I may or not may not record very often, and I will try my best to record whenever I do play. But sometimes I probably won't. I'm not one for public speaking so to do this is a is a big thing on my part but um, one thing I've learned through lockdown is that this game is bringing lots of people together and if people ask I, I will help out as much as I can at least demonstrate um, I'm sure anyone who asks me could do a better job than I, I have and I look forward to seeing what other people do is just as much as I have done before. Um, so without much further ado, let's get started. So I'm just going to play the game. So I took a region and did some light terraforming of that region. I do have a plan, which I cannot really share just at the moment, but I think I, I will maybe I'll put it on as a Facebook post at another time. Um, and th the first thing I have done is I haven't terraformed the whole map and started building because, as you can see in my in my last map, there. Uh, this was about a, a fifth of the actual size of the region and I'd only started developing probably 30% of that so it was restricting in so much as I have to come up with names which is something I like to do based on the geography of, of the region itself and also how I feel about it so it was a, a big effort and could potentially be wasted so what I've done here is I've tried to do real places and just looked at some town names for the more rural areas 
with a, a little bit of um, license to change a few things. One thing I will say is that the loading time is taking quite a while. So I might cut this out a lot. Here we go. So here is an origin. The game is paused. I have the extra cheats plug in and I've given myself a little bit more money than bef the or default because these things are expensive and there is there are going to be a lot of mistakes. So on my other map, my other screen, I've got the map in place. So, so here it's going to be a more downtown area. Quite a nice flat area here. So I'm going to look first of all at a rail terminus now I haven't done any prep on another map I'm just going through what I did in my other town the cities Feeling I'm going to be doing a lot of editing, and I'll probably also go quiet for huge periods because I'm not used to talking while I'm playing. It's especially in summertime. It's very much something that I do of an evening for a couple of hours rather than all day at weekends or anything like that. So. I'm looking for a specific station and as soon as I see it I will take it One thing I do find sometimes irritating is when people scroll through items at incredibly fast speed so you don't get a chance to see what they have so if nothing else you can see everything I have I think again I've gone too far down now or too far up again That looks very interesting. I think I've recently downloaded that, so I have to see how it works. But that might be a good option for another for another city. But I'm going for a, a more gothic-looking style because it we're loosely based on the north of Italy at the moment. seeing what I'm looking for. Right, this is going to possibly be the, one of the most boring videos ever, so there, there will be some severe editing going on. There's probably another reason why I do any. It's going to be a long time between them. This particular station I'm looking for is the Helsinki Railway Station. I've modified the capacity slightly because when I downloaded it, it was um, stupendously small. It was something like 20,000 and it had five platforms, or at least four, and, and a capacity of, of less than the little Maxis station, which is very much reminds me of a, a rural Italian station. I've got a feeling it's somewhere around here. Is that the one? No.
See, if somebody was asking me about this station. It's the HSR large station that I downloaded at some point. It looks very nice. I've also upped the capacity on that. And this is the Amsterdam station, which I often use. There's actually a construction lot which I use. This version of it doesn't seem to work very well because there's no road access or anything. Ah, here we go. Helsinki. So at the moment I think it's going to go here. And I will probably do some roads another time I have. Today. So we've got four platforms. This is a tile that I haven't used whilst I was playing with my other region. Start off a little bit n further north on the map. Now, if I'm doing any sort of more mass leveling, I'll definitely not be recording that or I'll cut it out because that's. Any, any, or any scale, that would be quite, quite boring. So, the railway lines will, will come out. The station and, and generally speaking for the two paths here hope one will curve round and go up over the river about here and these ones will curve down and then split um, I'll definitely post the plan if anyone is interested I, I think it there's a higher higher chance that that's going to change the main problem I had with my previous region which is one of the reasons why I want to have a lot more time on my hands in order to in order to do the renovations there and maybe carry that on is purely um, because I was running into capacity problems uh, in my original city I he really started playing with multiple lines at a, at a later date. Um, I think it was on Reddit someone said about using hybrid railway. I, I'm not too certain of that yet. Um, I did see the tutorial that was posted on YouTube, but it it looks like it needed to be a little bit more user friendly before I. I was going to try and use it now. Um, yeah, I like long curves. I'm contemplating using a convert to a high, sp high speed rail. of the station so I'm going to do that for now and possibly a more aggressive curve on the top but I, I might try I might try hybrid rail I'm slightly concerned about some of the stations and everything else I'm not overly happy with that either Try and tighten that up a little bit. Um, I've often found that at first, it tends to look terrible, and then once you've done it and you go to refit it, it can can be done a little bit nicer. 
uh, using the god mode tool because even with this I think over the course of a city it's going to be it's going to be quite an expensive undertaking and the idea here is that all the incoming trains will come into the main station and, and change I'm, I might do some sort of overpass or or a relief line here at a later date depending on what needs to be done in terms of the traffic flow later. I'm going to try and put never as simple as it seems. But nonetheless, I'm not going to be deterred. I'll try again. There we go. I really decide what bridge I'm using. I tend to go for something more modern looking. It hides the texture as well, but the Stone Arch, I with the real highway, uh, real railway. Um, I do think that is quite attractive. So, ideally, I'll bring it along here because you can't have two next to each other. So let's see what I can get away with. Again, I'm going to try the curves. I'm going to go for as long a one as possible. nice. can't guarantee that there will not be much swearing at some point or another. There, there often is. I'm going to go for the same bridge again. Um, probably try and cut that out. We'll see. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. Um, I'll get enough room for underpasses and that sort of thing in this area can be a bit dead. In, in the map, I will have another rail railway line that sneaks back up. And now I'm going to just make that come down. for a second it's it's probably about here that I want to do it because I, I have a high-speed rail line coming here I'll probably make that go underground and I also need to save some space for port or well, ferry certainly let's put the, uh, the nice curves in bring them back closer together there. That looks good. Actually thinking about it, I probably do want some sort of railway junction here. I have a city tile here, I want it to go that way, as well as going that way over there, and I think it would probably be wise that the longer section here goes becomes elevated, so 
to take it to there. Now I'm going to use the one level flex ramp. I usually call it the sort of man made arch. One level will be just fine. It's going to take me a while before I'm pressing play on this one, I think. That may or may not come down again at the other end, I don't know yet. I'm just going to drop a save. That's something I will do, and I will be editing those out eventually as it takes longer. to do is I'll have a line that goes like that because you'll find that there's often there is a lot of traffic just wanted to go from one tile to another and when you're trying to troubleshoot that and you, when you've developed a city it can become quite troublesome in the, in the previous region a few of the cities I was, I was doing uh, were quite rural, so they're quite easy to just fix. But the one before that, um, I had a custom power station uh, right where I wanted to put a curve, and if I deleted that, I had to endure a long period of waiting for any sort of response if I tried to level the land with railway or anything like that and that was until such time as I'm going to put another one here as well actually let that be double track I'm going mad for capacity in this city so until I plopped another power station pretty much right in the same place generally speaking not very happy with me I don't know what I'm gonna do there just yet I'll probably bring it back down I think I'll say about my style in over, over the course of the lockdown is that I've gone very much into my railway junctions it's also it's fair to say it is something that I I enjoy doing I'm going to leave that there because I haven't quite decided I might have this be raised and have a, a sort of natural embankment which reminds me of something else that I've been asked about in the past is to it's about my technique for decorating so that would probably be fun but I'll, I'll probably do the hard landscaping and everything else another evening now I'll record that now I have a, a 
problem here where I will have to split the split this up. Oh, I might take it down to one one line, but we'll see. One thing you can do is you can actually cheat. Um, I'll save it. I'll, I'll cheat now and see how it looks. You can level the land so there is no water. And there are some retaining walls that you can put. potentially be here for a very long time. I do this. Be reasonably delicate with it, that's the problem. doing a very good job of that. We can probably get some diagonal pieces on there. It can make it look like a natural dam. I think I do prefer that because it's a lot tighter. Now with the way the water is here, that's going to be a bit more of a challenge. I, I, I don't really want to be doing that the entire time, so... At this point, I think I will revert to the plan, because there is, there is actually going to be a motorway. in my plan it's coming here so I think that might not happen I think it might come on this side of the river what I'm going to do is I'll pop that in there give people the opportunity to to slide around now Just thinking ahead. Don't really need any sort of railway there. In my plan, I have no fixed designation for that area. I'll do what comes. going to keep them on this side of the river I'm going to go with a stone arch again I'll probably change that I like that in my rule see you can't put two bridges next to each other so this point what I'll do let's just have it goes out I'm not a fan of how that looks but it will do for now again I will go for the same Stone arch again. Now, one thing I would dearly love, which probably isn't possible, is to have 
have the bridges for railways done in much the same way that the real highway is, so you can you can have them the wall of one set of tracks on, on one bridge, multiple track bridge. Um, that would be really cool. That would actually be a game changer in my opinion. So now looking at the, the plan and this we have a geographical event. Oh, I don't really need a railway line to go there so opportunity to make a tunnel. No, it's a bit too close to here. Flattens the land quite nicely, so... I'll take that. Maybe at a later time I will raise it slightly and make it into a tunnel, but I'll have the same problem with two sets of railway lines right next to each other, so... It's looking a bit nasty, so I might use the same trick on the other, on the other side. The, the problem I have with that is, is that you have to get it, you have to get the the angles bang on. Otherwise, you could probably spend 15 minutes just bulldozing and and what have you afterwards. One thing I will do is I'll rotate it again so that I'm looking at this in the way that my plan on the other screen is. So we get past here. And it generally curves a little bit to the left and goes up and to the other tile. Now I'm, I'm going to change, I'm going to deviate from that plan already. have that happen to one of the lines but not the other one will follow the motorway which will be around here highway I do have a res in my plan. I do have a residential area over here, so they could probably do with a railway line, even if it does go uh, in a massive horseshoe around the city. Now up towards here will tend to be more industrial. Yeah, I'm not liking that so much. So let's. to be a tunnel or something in the long run we'll see it's not a very hilly area it's just enough to be unattractive my clicking is well and truly off the scale uh, there that's a good space for a station actually I'm not just going to carry on doing what I am comfortable with, I will, I will do some experimentation, do some new things, it's, a new region is always a good opportunity to try something new, I, in my last region I did play around with some seaports, which were unfortunately mostly just eye candy, uh, I know there's a functional seaport mod, but that I found to be dependency hell. I, I might, I might try that and see how that goes. Um, but there are far better people out me than me out there who can, can do 
do something with that. I think it might be time for a, for a save. It might also be time for some sort of railway junction. The residential area here, there's this around here is going to be industrial. Actually, it's not residential, but they could probably do with this train station that goes there because they will probably want to go for jobs. So, drop a save. That was slightly concerning. I don't want to jinx it, but I have gone a fair amount of time without a crash whilst playing. I... How is there a fire? Okay, well I'm not having that. And it's because I've got things open in the other window, but. I usually tend to tidy them off, up, tidy them up off the camera, uh, off camera, but outside of playing time, I'll be watching television or something. I'll just go in and each tile save it up with, with it being in the one of the data views as well to get rid of the other bug where where all the roads turn in turn into the black on the transport view in the region view because what happens is um, if you don't do that they're all black and otherwise they're not that sort of nice light grey colour was I playing all the time no wonder it caught fire I'll drop another save there We're actually in the midst of a heat wave here in Britain. So it's surprisingly topical. I have to be more careful what buttons I press though. We also seem to have got to summer. Ooh. I tend not to like that. I like to, to play with the infrastructure in place. How many times have you been watching a, a video when the person you're watching does something that you've done a hundred times and you're screaming at the guy, no, don't do it, no, it's not worth it. And then the next thing you know is that you're making your very first video and you've inadvertently pressed play and your station catches fire. This I have to get a bit a bit more. I do have to give it enough room. Oh, that was actually, I think, okay there. I'm sure of that it might need to be further up. There is another curve I can use. I tend not to use them, except for when I'm retrofitting something or other and space is tight. I dabble with fractional angle railway, uh, but I generally disliked it. It's it's nice and obviously incredibly realistic, but it's something that I have to be in 
the right mood to play with so you'll probably find that I'll start something leave it and then do something else for a while because certain what I'd like to do with something and oh god that's terrible what are you doing bro that's actually turned out okay flatten the ground around that so I don't want to get too close to this to the waterfront now Same again. The reason I use these ones is because the textures of the, textures of the railway persists. I'm quite liking that for an industrial setting. This is very much Do a quicker job, a bigger area, but I find that I like to be a bit more accurate, especially around water. You could say, that, you know, that's a little old pond and the same drought that caused the fire at the main station earlier is you know, melting that, and the poor ducks have had to go somewhere else to play. This is residential too. This is where I deviated from my initial plan. I'll probably deviate some more. I can see this being a lovely sort of nature reserve for a nice walk. Nonetheless, the city to the north is going to be very um, agricultural, industrial. some sort of port so I'll have to get good at that that's turned out quite nicely Ok, 
case the plan didn't last very long. This is cutting right through the residential area to this north of the city. I'm going to just let it cut through. There will be little villages in the town above so they can each have their own little railway line and I'm, I'm sure they're going to get busy. My plan at the moment is the only neighbourhood connection is to be to be highway or, or rail. I pretty much stopped using some time ago. I just need some sort of placeholder here. So that's where it's going to be. I do like those extended ones. And I did see some of the... some of the ones in that hybrid rail tutorial. to start something I was concerned with the stations I think I said earlier oh would you know that's easily remedied it can move over one much here don't I and probably the gradient let's not find that Softening will make that work without being too dramatic. It's also probably not helped by these. Oh, I've spent quite a lot of money already. Playing with the uh, even on easy mode with the game defaults, I'll probably be starting to think of how much money this is costing. I'm not against that actual curve actually because it works well with the little ridge there. We'll see what happens. Bad start. For CN Avenue coming now. I don't think I'll do high speed rail just yet. Semi conscious of time. Normally I'll just carry on playing, but. 
might do something there to be honest with you. What can I do quickly? I suppose it would be nice to finish the job off, so let's let's do this a bit nicer. So get in save. Just in case I I ruin it, which is highly likely. some boulders there or something have some fun with that at a later date I... oh, that's very naughty isn't it never mind gives me a chance to do it a little bit more accurately Let's make that go down. It's not like money is no object, but there's no need to worry. the odd numbers on that side but we'll put that down to that down to necessity there we go and the next problem we'll have is fitting in the turn lane Nova Verona, that's the name of the main city in my previous region. You'll have to forgive me, I'm see that this just isn't gonna work, is it? No, but don't worry, we have a plan for that. One thing I like is that you can do some really nice things. Now I'll tell you what I will do. I'm going to use the extended one here. And there. I'm going to put some really nice curves in. Longest I can get away with. Ooh, that's disappointing. But it still looks nice. I'll probably do something with some race terrain, but I always find that the the slope is far too intolerant for that. Oh, I gotta say that's looking nice. That is definitely save worthy. You can see that decorating quite nicely. And possibly even put some sort of canal or a stream in there. Um, I tend to do them really when I've got lots of time on my hand or doing 
And it reminds me of somewhere special. Um, in all honesty now, I am tempted. To try and bring this closer together. Also... Something that gives me great satisfaction to just get it done one way and then end up making it better. And often as well, sometimes you think that the shorter curves do the job, but sometimes, you see, you can get tighter with a, with a wider curve. If, I don't know if it's conventional wisdom or not, but you go for a smaller curve on the inside. That's what I've always tried to do, but there are times when it just really doesn't work. And I don't know how much editing I'll do, I'll try and keep them down in size. Or even just record and then voice over afterwards. I think that's what one or two people do that whom I watch. This is Probably just recall them and put them on there for eek for posterity for some reason. Uh, for s sometimes because you can very easily just say, "How did I do that? I did it before. Why can't I do it now?" And then I'll have a video I can watch where well, I have done it. So. I do try and keep them tight. I think that one can possibly be tighter still. But I'm going to leave that as... That's not too aggressive. I hope we can do something on the other side. I hope this isn't too boring. I'm generally not very good at talking whilst I'm concentrating on something. Anyone who's in a car with me will tell you that I can very easily just stop talking full sentence or mid sentence and then like that <laughs> and then go to complete silence whilst something happens on the road or oh that's nice okay it's a slightly shorter one all right, we can do that. I can live with that. That's nice. Okay, so aside from the fire and the fact that we've moved forward in time and I'm a very bad mayor. There was a clue there that the game is running. I'm quite happy with that. So the intention is a sort of commercial area here, possibly some sort of marina. I'm quite well at that. Last time I get a lot of people asking me how this, you know, very much canals. Not much room for industry here. I think here by the motorway there will be some industry. And that's going to come along this river here, I think rather than across here. Uh, maybe some sort of motorway that goes over the motorway here and joins the junction because there's going to be some sort of traffic wanting to go that way. Uh, for one evening I'm quite happy with that. Quite happy with that, so it's 
quite a nice tile. So we'll leave it there. If anyone is watching, thank you very much for watching, and me of the future, you're welcome.